Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Real Heroes Show. You got Corey and Nick with you here. And in this video, we are reviewing Finch, starring Tom Hanks over on Apple TV+, Plus, which is a feature film and not a series, which we normally review from Apple. So uh, there are going to be spoilers uh, in this review. So if you haven't seen this movie and you don't want it ruined for you, uh, please click that pause button, go over to Apple, enjoy that two hours of beautiful Tom Hanks gray beard, and then come back and see us. Uh, Nick, I feel like it's only been minutes since I've seen you, and that's because it's only been minutes since yes. I've seen you. How, how are you, sir? How are I'm things? Bit, I'm a bit more, bit more hydrated, actually, now that, now that I've had some water. So there's <laughs> yeah, that. I'm, I'm still sipping away at my, my Zoa energy drink. <laughs> Uh, to to get through our our Sunday evening. So, um, man, this this one, uh, let's just let's dive right into it. Oh, subscribe yes. if you haven't already. Like the video, Do it. please help us out. It's great for the algorithm. Uh, drop us a comment, even if you don't know what we're gonna say yet. Just just play roulette. It'll be a good time. Yeah. Um, this is a film that dropped on Apple TV Plus. It did not have a theatrical release, which is very interesting. Uh, it has a really really huge ensemble cast. It's Tom Hanks and a robot played by Caleb Landry Jones <laughs> and a dog played by Seamus the dog, uh, where I looked at the credits before the movie started and it mm -hmm. just said Seamus. And I was yep. like, well, who is the Seamus person? And I scrolled down and it was a photo of a dog. And I was like, all right, that's, yep. that's pretty cool. Yep. Um, it is directed by Miguel Sapochnik, who most people will probably recognize uh, from his work on Game of Thrones. He directed the Hard Home episode, the oh. Battle of the Bastards, and the Long Night. Um, so Some of the, you, the best ones in the entire series. 100%. Yeah, <laughs> like he's like the go-to uh, Game of Thrones director. So when I saw his yeah. name attached to it, uh, also it's from Amblin Entertainment, which is Steven Spielberg's production company. Yep. And uh, Robert Zemeckis of Back to the Future fame is an executive producer on this film also. So as soon as I saw all those things, I had reasonably high hopes. Uh, Same. And I, I was not disappointed um this is a a fun apocalypse movie where you get tom hanks who plays the titular character finch uh he's a survivor of a solar flare i think they said is, is what it was or yep. something like solar that flare. um he's living on an earth that is scorched it's 150 degrees out all the time the uv rays will literally melt your skin yep. uh so he spends his time taking care of a dog and building advanced robotics <laughs> and uh, eventually it gets to a point where there's a super storm and uh, it's no longer safe to be in their, uh, their home of St. Louis. So they decide to head out West to San Francisco. And then the rest of the movie is a, a fun little road movie from there. So Nick, I'll let you lead us off uh, with your thoughts on this one. Overall, I'd say I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, but from start to finish, I, was just glued to the movie. I really enjoyed a lot of parts of this, a lot of moments. There were some, you know, emotional parts uh, of it as well. Uh, you know, of course, the entire time I'm like thinking that they better not, the dog better not die, right? Goodyear. <laughs> like if, if Goodyear dies, it's all over. I'm just going to shut the movie off. Um, spoiler, he doesn't. Yeah. Thankfully, he doesn't. Thankfully. But I, I really enjoyed a lot of the aspects of this movie because it had a couple different feels to it. I think one of the biggest vibes I got in this movie, it felt, a lot like the book of Eli, which was, I, I love okay, that movie. Yeah. Um, I love that movie a lot, but uh, I, cause it's an apocalyptic type movie. Right. Uh -huh. uh, and a lot of the things that they don't outright tell you, but you hear and figure out over, over the course of the movie by what Finch is saying. Sure. Right. Like how you know, the sky was turned into Swiss cheese because of the solar flares. And, and I know, and, and just kind of reading a lot about, uh, you know, space and what really happened if a solar flare, you know, hit earth hard in, in the ozone layer, what, what that would actually do to us. Um, and it's actually kind of, it's for them, from what I've read, it's pretty accurate. Like we hmm. could, if it's bad enough and not just like EMP knocking things out, but it could really, um, fuck our day up um yeah well, <laughs> to it say, looked terrible in the to movie. say the least yeah <laughs> and I, I think the the effects and everything that they did uh were, were really really uh great looking mm -hmm. and uh, i think a lot of the audio was also really well done yes. um yes and i i think for, for the sake of what he was able to do and again like learning more about well the you know he's not the only person alive, right? He could go sure. to the East coast, I mean, the East city, uh, the, the, the um, cities in the East rather, but these, he said, eh, too many people. Yep. 
And then we learn, and which is, you know, pretty accurate from other apocalyptic movies, Book of Eli being one of them, but also, you know, say for, uh, you know, zombies aside, but, you know, for like The Walking Dead, where people are also a problem, mm -hmm. because we see this once they get to Denver, Colorado, and r.i.p dewey yeah all right exactly i put that in my notes r.i.p dewey oh, christ um and 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 just even though we don't see anyone else which i which i i, I like the yeah. it's like the presence of other people even though we don't see people mm -hmm. in the in the movie there's the there's the bear trap um and uh, again just the the knowledge of of what Finch has because he's had to survive on his own for, for this yeah. long. And uh, I think for the sake of what he was able to teach uh, Jeff, uh, which, which is so funny. It's so funny that that's, that's his name, Jeff. It's such Jeff. a disarming name for a robot. Yeah. I, I, with, and I, I like, I, I like that they wrote the, the coding properly. Number one, you will do no harm to to, to humans, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like you're setting that you're setting that right off the bat, so Skynet doesn't happen. Yep. <laughs> um, but the one of the interesting things in the movie where you see there's four steps. He he says step one, skips two and three, but then step four is above all else. This one supersedes the rest, yep. and it's to make sure you take care of Goodyear. Mm -hmm. And and it's like. I, I'm going to jump ahead to, to the end really quick here for a moment, but it's, it's, it's like, what a, what a story, uh, you know, we, we're going to well, be funny if we got a spinoff between Jeff, the robot and Goodyear, the dog, <laughs> right. The continuing adventures in the apocalypse. Ex exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but, but I think that was pretty interesting. Once, once they get to a safe haven or safe spot um, on the way to San Francisco, they realize that, the, you know, the sky isn't sizzling his hand, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And there, there are no UVs because we, we could see a butterfly. We see other signs of life being yeah. present. And it, it really shows that there's this hope without catastrophe. Yeah. And I think that was like a, you know, pretty touching moment, um, you know, you know at, at that at that point. And um, of course, from there, I think that's when like, the, emo like the hard emotional trip hits. Yeah, so I think you're right, because it's like, yes, it's an apocalypse movie, and there's some like daunting looking shit in the beginning or whatever. And yeah. then it's like this kind of like goofy, almost buddy comedy type thing between Jeff and Finch. But once they start getting out there and a little past, like, I guess it's like the halfway point of the movie. Yeah, you start to realize that Finch is not going to be on this earth for much longer. No. And like everything that happens just like twists the knife a little bit more mm -hmm. like when it's like he's teaching jeff how to play fetch with goodyear yep and then they have that the moment where he puts on the all white suit yeah. <laughs> and he's got the, the big sunglasses on and he's like this is the best day of my life and they're out yep. in like monument valley just like literally looking out into to nothingness mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like fuck he's gonna die soon <laughs> yeah and then, the way they do it where uh, I think Jeff sleeps outside the RV and then the next morning, the dog is just like howling yep. because he, and I was just like, God damn it. They really fucking killed Tom Hanks. <laughs> like they, yep. they, they murdered me, but like, it was a really, it was a really sweet uh, and touching movie. Oh, very, um, very. And I think it's really fascinating. Like that just shows you the, the caliber of an actor that Tom Hanks is where, he can carry the entire weight of the story on his shoulders. And he's mm -hmm. just, he's that damn good. Uh, and if you've seen any of his stuff, oh, yeah. State and Private Ryan or Forrest Gump or Catch Me If You Can, like he's just, he's so versatile and he can do pretty much anything. But like seeing him in his like older years taking on roles like this, uh, I, I absolutely loved all of it. Uh, yep. It may be emotional at several points, um, for for all of the characters for the dog for the robot for him like there was just some genuinely good stuff both happy sad exciting yeah. like it, it was it was very good across the board uh the audio like you mentioned uh, apple tv is the best place to stream anything the, i think the so. quality yeah. of their video and their audio is absolutely spectacular the scene where 
they uh they latch the rv down oh God, to keep yeah. it from going away in the tornado bro i felt like i was literally in the middle of that storm it was super that was so immersive. well done uh which for a movie that you see on a streaming service that costs five bucks a month that's awesome like i i can't uh be it's like almost enough. unheard of yeah so um and you know it's a it's a story that's got a a hopeful ending even though it is sad you know they make it to where they want to go jeff starts telling goodyear a story the way that finch used to tell him the story uh and there's a a little bit of a sense of hope at the end which is which is really cool so um if you had to give this one a score out of 10 i know it's a fake streaming movie according to patty jenkins <laughs> but uh what what would you give this one uh, i'd probably give it like an 8.5 okay yeah solid i you know what i'm inclined to do the same just because not a lot of movies have like hit me in the the emotions lately and yeah and this one did in a way that i 100 percent did not expect it to um it was a genuine surprise and i'm very happy to have watched it so yeah the last thing i'll, I'll just tack on to say too like a couple of these little little nuances that they added in there that i didn't catch at first but when there's this little whirling noise that happens when Jeff actually thinks about something. Yeah. It's and, like the Rolodex behind his head. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. And I mean, even just to see how, how brilliant Finch was, I mean, obviously he, he designed a robot, super smart. Um, but to put a, a magnetic can opener in his chest, you know, which is almost like, I kind of almost took that as like a metaphor, like, yeah. you know, uh, to, to like, that's where his heart was because it fed the dog and he mm -hmm. loved the dog that much. And so Jeff's like, reaction to it was great. Yeah. And oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so great. Like again, these funny moments that just maybe weren't necessarily intentional, intending to be funny, but they were also at the same time. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I, I'd say as far as like you know themes, you know, it was at that moment when uh, you know Finch had already passed that Goodyear knew and and found trust in yep. in jeff and that was one of the things that that uh finch had talked about like there's a big theme of, of trust in this movie emotion yep. like unconditional uh care and love um which is obviously very big and comprised of uh between like dog and like and and, and humans where it's like mm -hmm. trying to, the same goes like like the dog is a man's best friend sort of thing right so yep. um but uh yeah it was it was super like just super well done overall you know i think yeah. i think i think the the length of the movie was was also at a very good spot yeah uh, like I think an it had hour and 48 good... minutes i think yeah like you know didn't need to be any longer uh i, I don't really know what they sh what they could have cut out at the same time but um not much i don't think yeah but pacing was good so yeah, yeah. yeah. it uh, it got from a to z in a good way it told a, a good tight little story had a lot of heart which yep. is really all you can ask for for a movie so uh if you're if you're so inclined to uh, get yourself a can of canned peaches spend your five <laughs> bucks on apple tv plus and uh check this one out i do not think you will be disappointed so Sam. uh that is going to wrap things up for this video uh if you've watched this movie and you enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it drop us a comment below let us know what you thought we'll make sure to respond to everyone that comes through uh like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already to get us towards our goal of 1000 subscribers uh be on the lookout for more videos this week um again not really sure the order that they're going to come out but uh aside <laughs> so from the foundation enough. being the first thing on monday uh we've got that we've got this one uh we're going to look at the harder they fall on netflix we've got hawkeye over on disney plus coming out this week um the wheel of time which we're bringing in a book expert for which is going to be really exciting to get a good perspective on uh just lots of really great stuff we're really looking forward to covering all of it so stay tuned for all that and so much more until next time we'll see you guys in the next video peace